I woke up and the cat had peed on my bed. Because I was still half asleep, I ended up putting my hand in the cat's pee. I then went to grab the cat to put its head in its pee. <laughs> not as an act of revenge, my mum had just told me that's how you teach it not to do it again. It doesn't work, it doesn't remember the great moral lesson of Tuesday. <laughs> it just ends up with a head covered in its own pee, wandering around, wondering how that could have happened. <laughs> In the process of grabbing the cat, the cat scratched my hand, the same hand where the pee was. There was then some blood coming out of my hand and maybe some pee getting into my bloodstream. And I thought, I've got cat aids. <laughs> I tried not to think that because I believe that thinking makes it so. <laughs> I woke up the next morning and I couldn't stop vomiting into my toilet. So violent was the vomit coming out of me. It was going into my toilet. It was all around the toilet as well, sort of splattering all over the floor. My cat came, put my head in the vomit. <laughs> On the way to the doctor, I wondered, should I mention what happened with the cat? I felt a bit embarrassed about it, but I thought it could be relevant. It could be relevant to what's happened this morning. I got there, I told her about the vomiting, and I said, I don't know if this is anything, but my cat yesterday peed on my bed, someone got my hand, then there was some blood. I said, I don't know, I've heard about cat aids. <laughs> she looked at me in a way that I thought doctors were trained not to look at patients. <laughs> No, there's, there's no way you could have cat aids. <laughs> You're not a cat. 